Good day my little robins, it's me Beth with another week as past machine to get another video from well me and if you haven't already read the title today I'm bringing you an album review. The album in question is Five by Hollywood Undead. This was released at the end of October and you know I've had like just over a week and a half you know to listen to the album you know kind of you know create my own thoughts and opinions on the songs and the album as a whole yeah it's gonna be an album review so if you want to watch it keep watching if you don't find another video to watch before we begin this review if you want to support me and the channel you know you can click like hit subscribe because i upload twice a week on a monday and a friday don't know why i did that with my fingers anyway let's just dive right into this hollywood undead five album review okay guys off the bat i am just gonna make this opinion known about this album and for me if i had to summarize Five as a whole, I would summarise this album as a meh album. It's just there, you know, there's nothing really stand out about, you know, the album, you know, that would put it way above, you know, the other four albums this band have released. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I am middle ground. This is a middle ground album for me. I don't know why I haven't shown it earlier. Yeah, but we are talking about Five by Hollywood Undead. This is their anticipated fifth album, which they ironically named Five. I don't know if that's because it's their fifth album or the fact, you know, they've only got five members now. But there's a lot of emphasis on the Five dynamic, except the fact that it has, it doesn't have five songs. It has more than five songs. If it had five songs, I would be like, you go Hollywood and dead. But yeah, if I'm being honest, like I just said, it's not a standout album. I've already reviewed, um, one, two, three, four, I've already reviewed four of the songs off this album on my channel, you know, you can just type in Hollywood and Dead into the search. I reviewed California Dreaming, Whatever It Takes, Renegade and We Own the Night, and well, I kind of shat all over California Dreaming, Whatever It Takes, and what was the other one? Renegade. I did not like those songs, I did not like those music videos, and I made that opinion very known. But then I reacted to We Own The Night and I was like, okay, this sounds like a little bit of old school American tragedy, Hollywood Undead. And then they released the album and I was just like, okay, what I thought was going to happen, like, oh, it was going to reflect, you know, maybe some past album influences, like American Tragedy, Notes From The Underground, Day Of The Dead, or even Swan Songs. It doesn't really do that. Yeah. No. <sighs> this would be a really short review if I just said it was a meh album. For me, when they released Day of the Dead, I was not a fan of that album, but now, you know, it's been a couple of years. That is actually probably my second favourite Hollywood and Dead album, after Notes from the Underground, which will always be a number one album in my eyes. But the band on this album, it doesn't seem like they have expanded, or, you know, switched up anything. I was expecting, you know, a bit of a departure from Day of the Dead. It is a bit of a departure, you know, it, it is different. It is different from Day of the Dead. But there's nothing like, oh my god, this is the best album in the whole world about this. It's bearable. Will I listen to it, you know, in full? Probably not. Will I skip to my favourite songs? Yeah. I feel really bad because I really wanted to like this new album because I'm a massive fan of Hollywood and Dead. I had a few people go shit talk me because I was a bit mean about uh, California Dreaming, Renegade and whatever it takes. And I was just like, no, I am a fan. I'm allowed an opinion. So yeah, let's just talk about that. My least favourite songs on this album would be Whatever It Takes, Still Don't Like It, Renegade, Nope. Riot I didn't like and I would say also Black Cadillac I wasn't a fan of but if I had to talk about you know some of my favorite songs on the album I'm going to take back all the mean things I said about California Dreaming now that I've listened to it you know a couple more times it's actually growing on me so I actually like California Dreaming I'm also a big fan of We Own The Night because for me it reminded me of Levitate and the American Tragedy Days I also quite like Bad Moon and Broken Record. Yeah, so there are, I like half the songs on the album. I don't really like the other half. So, you know, I bought it. Yes, people don't say in the comments, yeah, but you went out and bought the album. 
I have every single Hollywood Undead album. I wasn't about to miss this out of my collection because I don't like half the songs. But yeah, I do like the artwork, you know, the girl wearing the mask with the flag with the dove and the grenade, which is their thing. I am seeing Hollywood Undead live next January, next January in Manchester. And I have a feeling it will be, though, a lot of these songs will be played because I think it is an album tour. But I'm going because I've never seen them live and I really hope they play some of my favourites, you know, off the other four albums. I have, I have prayed to whoever's listening, the music gods, to do that for me. Anyway, yeah, I've said it anyway a lot in this video. I wish, you know, they had gone somewhere, you know, a bit more artistically different with the lyrics. The lyrics on half of these songs seemed really lazy, really cliche, and there wasn't really anything inno innovative about it. Yeah. Also, I thought for me, the vocals on some of the songs, even on a couple of my favourites, weren't to par, you know, songs they've previously released. Maybe I'm just biased because I was a big De Curls fan when he was in the band, but now he's not in the band. I still like the band, just because they've lost a member, that doesn't, you know, change my opinion. But for me, I would have probably also liked, I'm doing this because this hair keeps falling in my face, I would have liked, you know, a little bit, maybe some more instruments coming through on some of the songs, because as a band, they can all play instruments and they play them on stage. But I kind of felt like they were a bit muted in the background on this album. So you have cliche lyrics, muted instruments, but the songs, as cliche as they are, they tell a story. They're okay. They're not amazing. I haven't, this hasn't been a bad review and it hasn't been a good review. It's been a middle ground review. Hollywood Undead 5 is my middle album in their collection. If I had to give it a rating out of 5, I am giving 5 by Hollywood Undead. It ain't getting a 5. It ain't getting a 4. It's gonna get a 3 out of 5. Yeah. I don't know what else I can say that I haven't already said and that was Glare from the Light. Hollywood and Dead. Hopefully, album number six will be a lot better. But hopefully they put on a show when I see them live. Yeah. In the comments below, that's another word I've said a lot in this video, and that's yeah. I don't care. In the comments below, I'd love to hear, you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions, you know, on the songs on the album, the album, the artwork, the band, the music videos. While you're down there, you know, you can always check out all the links to my social media because there's nothing stopping you. You can press that like button to show me some love and you can click my face right down here to subscribe to the channel because I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday. You can check out my last two videos and playlists right here. If you want to check out my other Hollywood and Dead videos, you can just type Hollywood and Dead into the search box on the channel. Anyway, I am Beth. Until next week, keep listening to good music. Goodbye.